My Crested Gecko won't fire up. What do I do? Today we're going to show you how to make your Crested Gecko fire up. When a Crested Gecko fires up, it's typically when there's higher humidity values, when they're excited with a female that's nearby, it's breeding season, they're showing their colors, and I personally find that it's a good way to show their characteristics. I only really photograph my crested geckos once a year, uh, fully fired up, just so that you can see the progression in their patterning. And um, also so that I can provide these photos for the people who purchase their babies. Now, how do you make them fire up? There's two ways. First way is before actually taking the photo, you put them inside of a deli cup with a paper towel that's soaked or just sprayed down and you keep them in there for half an hour, 45 minutes with a hole punched in it. Just make sure you have a hole in there. And um, from there, they should fire up slightly. However, another thing is, is you, inc you bump their temperature. So if you want them to fire up nicely, and they're currently sitting at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which I personally think is wrong. Um, what I would personally do is put them in that same container, just a deli cup, 16 ounce with a paper towel in it sprayed down, and bring them to a warmer room within your house. So if it's 75, 76, 77, keep them in that room, in that specific cup for 20 minutes. Then you'll notice a huge, like a drastic change in their coloring. And that's always worked for me. This works for Chihuahua and everything. Another way to make them fire up is actually with UVB. Um, I find that providing them constant UVB actually allows them to fire up more often. You actually notice it every single night on their own. Um, now, a lot of people recommend against it or slash they say that it's not really necessary. I disagree with this. Um, I find that even if a gecko is nocturnal and they're hiding all day, uh, they do find some type of exposure to UVB in the wild. And um, I'm willing to fight about this, at least. And that, which is why you'll see that all my geckos here currently are on UVB. And this is particularly because it brings out their patterning. I find that it um, increases the quality of the eggs they produce. Also, it increases the quality of life. It actually provides some enrichment for them. The Chihuahua just openly bask all day, all night. Well, not all night, but they openly bask all day. They will just sit out there and perch underneath the UVB for the entirety of the day. And this is to allow them to absorb enough calcium as well as so that they can then see their patterning. When I purchased my Chihuahua, the white collar, the collar was really green and the guy that had it before me didn't have them on UVB. Now, this isn't anything that's wrong. Um, I personally think it's wrong and the only reason because is I see that they need the UVB for their calcium absorption. Um, but for me, now she's always perched right underneath that UVB bulb. So take that into consideration and her patterning has changed. It actually has become a lot more white. You can actually see the white in the white color now. So yes, it's okay to keep them in tubs with no UVB. It's been proven over the years. However, I personally keep my geckos with this and I find that they have better patterning, better eggs, healthier babies that hatch out of those eggs. So you be the judge, you do what you like. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, drop a like down below and comment if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for future content. Thanks.